Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to make an example out of Java with Groovy. So sit back and download a cup of knowledge because SE Geek begins now. episode we're going to make an example out of java so in this episode i want to take a java example um that i found just when i was looking around and i i, I found this uh dealing out cards and i, I looked at it as like wow that's very verbose i was wonder, wondering if i could just take that and squish it down to its like essence and groovy and get something that's just completely uh, more easy, uh, more easy to read and maintain, and you know, just something that's you know a lot uh, less heavyweight. So this, I found this example, um, and it's talking about you know big O of n and you know efficiency and all that. And you know the the main uh, idea of this is how to actually shuffle cards, which I, I'm not going into, and I'm not really uh, interested for this example. But you know, for this you know, we have this Java card class and we have, you know, all these static finals of all, the, you know, these different uh, values and it goes on and on and, you know, it actually builds everything up with, you know, all these cards, the classes, goes on and on. And basically its card class is 112 lines. So, you know, all this just for, you know, a card. So now we get into the deck, which you know is their main, you know, uh, the, the the main class, which uh, you know is basically just holds all the cards, and you know is for you know it actually builds the deck up, shuffles them, and uh, deals one card, the whole method for dealing one card, and has the stack name. That's seventy nine um, lines. So basically, we have, uh, let's see, that would be 1, 8, so 90, 191 lines of code just to print out a deck of cards um, and not do a whole lot else with it. So that's what you get in Java. And actually, we'll make this just a little bit bigger here. Well, actually, it's screwing up the CSS. But as you can see, this is a very, you know, this is very long, very nice and verbose, very Java-like. So let, let's let's see uh, what I could do with it in Groovy. 19 lines. So from 191 lines down to 19 lines. So let's take a look at what I actually have here. Now, in terms of, uh, just a, as a uh, disclaimer, in terms of actual... Uh, performance, yes, the Java one will like kill this on performance, but you'll never notice it for what it's doing because it's it, you know basically they both execute in well under a second. Um, but in any case, let's just take a look. So we have suits and we have our hearts, spades, diamonds. We have our face cards, jacks, queen, kings. We have cards, and basically we go through the suits with the index value. So basically you know zero one two three and we go through the number we it, we go yeah we go through the suits with their values and then we go through the number cards two through ten and basically we build up uh, this map which has a value a uh, display of the card which is uh, the actual uh, let's see what was the card so the card is the number cards dot each so that'll be the two through ten for these and that'll be uh, for this one it will be going through the suits so the face cards so it'll be queen through jack for the display um, but the values will be here uh, will be uh, let's see that's card and actually let's just run this so I can see what's going on so the value it basically yeah it picks up the actual values because these are the card values oh and in the suits 
it takes the suit value plus 11 just to get that extra value. So if you wanted to actually use these in a game, you could compare things. Um, and I get the suit value. You know, if you wanted to have uh, different suits being, you know, of higher values, or not, uh, something like that, you retain that value as well. And I go through all those. Uh, I just use a, you know, collections.shuffle because, you know, it, it's built in. Um, you know, if you want a, a special shuffle algorithm, you can get fancier. Um, I had one where I found it where you could shuffle using a UUID, but I was wondering why this was running like, you know, 10 times slower than Java version. It was because of the sorting algorithm. But in any case, you know, all it does is it goes through and it prints out all these cards. And the Java version does the same thing. Uh, maybe uh, I think it's one if I go back to it over here. Um, probably prints them out in a little nicer fashion. Um, but I, I, you know, you can manipulate the how I print. I can manipulate how I print this, and actually, uh, you know, do something a lot fancier if I so chose to. But you know, I wanted to just you know distill this down to its actual like essence for uh, for this example so you know 191 lines versus 19 which is huge now you know if you do need the performance for something you know that's fine but if you're looking at like just code maintainability this is huge because it, you know you have just a lot less code to deal with. You know, in, in this code, you have a lot less to go wrong than, you know, in 191 lines of code. In here, you also have two classes, so that's twice as many files you have to deal with. And in here, you have one file. Now, I'm not saying that this is necessarily the best way to do this, you know, but it's it's just to give you an idea of how powerful Groovy can be. Uh, you know, if you start looking at what, uh, how expressive it is, and uh, you know the different things you can do with it, um, I I actually kind of like maps over objects, but there are a place and time and place for objects if you're doing like say an external API, whereas this is just you know all I'm doing is displaying cards, so it's it doesn't matter what form they really are in for me, so. I went with this and a lot of times like if you're dealing with a you know web application you have a map of something that you just render to uh, JSON and send to a front end which you know essentially is another map so you know it, it basically you know you have to think about what you're doing and how it applies to it and what benefits you get and you know what disadvantages and here, I think this is a huge advantage and one of the reasons I really like the language. But again, if you need that, like, you know, cutting edge performance, well, you might have to deal with something, you know, more akin to this with longer lines of code. Just as if you need something more performant than Java, you'd have to go to the C version, which would be even more lines of code, most likely. But that's all I have to say about that for now. Just making example out of Java with Groovy. So I'll talk to you next time.